Welcome back, 431 at 7.30 a.m., 102.9 FM, WTNT. Andy Parks, live from the Washington Times in Tampa, Florida. And back in Washington, ladies and gentlemen, the editor at Times247.com, Catherine Tim. Hello, Catherine. Hello. What are you guys working on back there today? Well, we've been hearing a lot about, you know, the hurricane thing, but we've heard only a lot about, like, Hurricane Katrina. But what we haven't heard is that... Uh, Bobby Jindal actually said that Obama's hurricane aid fell short in Louisiana. Oh, no kidding. Or Trump, no, no yeah, kidding. exactly, no kidding. We haven't heard anything about it. In terms of falling short, we're hearing about Hurricane Katrina so many years ago. But Yeah. 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 That's very interesting because Jindal, obviously a Republican governor and uh, very much concerned for his state, had uh, set up some areas for evacuation through his emergency preparedness team. And yet um, the city of New Orleans, through its mayor, Mitch Landro, said, no, 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 we're not going to have mandatory evacuations. Well, mm -hmm. you know, if, if this storm is indeed going to pack the punch of Katrina, although many think that it won't, right. if it would, though, for some reason, you know, wouldn't you want the people out of town? Wouldn't you want the mandatory evacuations? I would think so, but... Hey. Right. Well, Obama, I guess what he did was offer some federal assistance, but yeah. he didn't offer to reimburse for all of the um, huh. emergency protective measures, which was in the request. So. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, what else are you guys working on? Uh, the feds have made a website offering tips on how to gain as much public assistance as possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They, they announced it yesterday, saying mm -hmm. they're, they're lamenting the fact that only 15% only turn to the government for assistance in tough times. <laughs> so they're, they're trying to increase the amount yeah. of people on welfare? Yeah. Are yeah. you kidding well, me? Well, they did, though, with food stamps, remember? They were pushing people to check into the food stamp program, and that's what earned him the title of food stamp president, and that's what started uh, at least part of the conflict between Chris Matthews and Newt Gingrich yesterday uh -huh. on MSNBC. So, that I mean, it's, it's very funny how these things evolve and they get bigger and bigger, and uh, uh, next thing you know, it's almost comical. Well, All yeah, right. a lot of these liberals, they don't really know the facts. They just know that if anyone says anything about food stamps or welfare, you just call them a racist, and then they're supposed to shut up. <laughs> That's right. So. All right. All right, what's next? Uh, as Al Gore has come out and said that every day he sees the climate or the weather, anything in the weather, it's like a, quote, nature hike through the book of Revelation. <laughs> good, good. Where's he been? I, mean, I don't know. Apparently smoking something because <laughs> he's, you know, it, it, it's funny because um, he started that TV channel, Current TV. Yep. And that really has zero ratings. I yep. Mean, no, no one is nope. actually watching it except for me. I mean, I will watch it on occasion because, like I always say, I do it for the entertainment. It's fun. So. I watch Al Sharpton show for the same reason. <laughs> really? Pretty funny Isn't stuff. It? Yeah, it is. Okay, got time for one more. What else? Yeah. Uh, Sarah Palin, another f funny little thing where she comes up with little catchphrases. She says that Democrats are hooked on, quote, hopium. Yeah. Uh, this hopey, changey feeling, yeah. which she kind of compares to a drug yeah. that people fell for last year, and they need to come out of the hopium haze and uh, yeah. vote for Mitt Romney. Yeah, that's very funny. You mm -hmm. know that uh, Christopher Stacey, who writes a column for uh, the Washington Times, had mentioned that very word last week. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of funny. Yep. All right, well, listen, we'll check it out, and uh, thank you, and we'll talk again tomorrow, all right? Yep. See ya. Catherine Temp is the editor at Times247.com. She'll be back tomorrow. It's 435, and uh, back in just a couple of minutes is Andy Parks, live from the Washington Times in Tampa.